Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can work with stored procedure in SQL Server. And what are these? So a stored procedure in SQL is a prepared SQL code that you can easily create and save so that you can reuse your code again and again. That means it's like a function. Okay. Let's say you have a query which you need to write again and again. What you will do? You won't write it again and again. You will basically create a procedure so that you can just call it and execute it whenever you need it. So this is what we call a stored procedure. Okay. For stored procedure, we use the create procedure command. Okay. So let us see an example here and we have our Amit DB database. You can see Amit DB. Within that we have our employee table. Let us see the records. Enter the table using use Amit DB use command space database name that is Amit DB is our database name. Execute successfully. Now let us show the records of the employee table. Select star from employee semicolon and just show it. Execute. Okay guys. Now at first we will create a procedure for this command only because we need to use again and again. So, so we will create a procedure. Use the command create procedure. Let us give it a name. All records. Use the alias and type the same command and type the same command select star from employee that's it press enter right go semicolon so now just select it and click on execute you can see query executed successfully to actually execute it and show the records use the command exec that is execute and then the name of and then the name of the procedure all records semicolon and just execute this here and you can see all the records are visible by just only typing exec keyword and the name of the procedure or the name of the function that's it okay now let's say we will create a stored procedure with a single parameter for that let us for display all the records here it is similar now what we will do we will create a stored procedure again similar way i'll just copy it with the parameter. So right now we have no parameters here. You can see we have no parameters here. We will select records on the basis of a city name. So for that use at the rate city. Okay. So we want it for a specific city. So I'll mention the condition where city is equal to at the rate of city. Okay. That is the following. Here and you can see it is showing an error. I need to add the data type also. Let's say it's where care 20. It's fine now. Okay. Now what I'll do, I'll just use the execute command similar way. All records, but it is having a parameter now. So the parameter is at the rate of city is equal to, let's say we want for city name ABC. Now let us change it to all records too so that we have a new stored procedure. So here and you can see guys, we created all records to procedure and we added the type also to remove the error for the city and herein we will now execute it. Execute it successfully. Let us see now. Now all the records for city ABC will be visible under our stored procedure with a single parameter. Okay guys, now we can also add multiple parameters. Let's say I'll create this again. Okay. This is our third one. At first, I'll just display the records. Here it is. Okay. So now I'll add multiple parameters to our stored procedure and let us name it to three. For our example. Okay. So now we are fetching records that will select employees from a specific city. Okay, specific city with a specific name. Okay, so this is our third one. City we already added. So we will add multiple here in. Let's say EMP name is what we are adding. Okay, where care 255. So we added two parameters here in city, city, and we are using the and. EMP name is equal to at the rate of EMP name. So this is so this is what we added. Okay, herein what I'll do. 
I'll add in a similar way at the rate of similar way at the rate of EMP name okay is equal to I told you for a specific EMP name so city ABC is having two employees Will and you can see Will and Tom both are having city ABC so let's say I'll fetch the Tom one is Tom now we have a specific stored procedure for it with two parameters okay so now I'll just select it execute command completed now I'll just execute this let me add a semicolon here both select it execute you can see we selected that specific records so we have created three stored procedure for example here it is for select star from employee here in for single parameter and the third one for multiple parameters so guys in this video we saw what is a stored procedure how we can create it we also saw how we can create a simple stored procedure with a single parameter and film with and with multiple parameters also so guys thank you for watching the video if you liked it do subscribe to our channel amit things